Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I have some Monday morning tea for you guys, okay? So it's been crazy. Twitter has been in shambles. It's been a bunch of mess going on the past 24 hours. I wanted to go live yesterday, but I wasn't feeling too well. But I feel a little bit better to drop this video. I might go live later on today. But for now, let's go ahead and talk about all the stuff that's trending on Twitter. So what's going down is this. Last night, JT was trending all over Twitter. It was called Not JT because a bunch of her old tweets came to the surface, honey. So now let me go ahead and bring it back. I believe the reason why people started digging into her old tweets is because folks are tired of JT and her shitty attitude, okay? JT had posted a picture on Instagram, and basically these shoes are ugly as hell. They do look like hair store shoes, but I digress. So somebody left a comment, and they're like, now why you got them hair store shoes on, Jatavia? Don't do that. So her response was, at Daniel Lee, those are Botigas and out of your budget. Now you don't do that, Daniel. Mind your wage. So she said that, you know, she had a little funny clap back. But I think people are just tired of her because it's like she forgets where she comes from. And she forgets that she literally just got out of prison. Okay, is this you, JT? Okay, so when you was locked up, you wasn't wearing that shit either. So let, let's start with the arrogance. So anyways... Social media started digging into her old tweets. Once again, this is not the first time, but every time she gets on folks' nerves, honey, them, them old tweets come back like a damn herpes outbreak, okay, bitch? So y'all go ahead and check out all these old tweets that people found of her going in on Regine and Tiny, talking about Rihanna. Honey, she's in love with R. Kelly, bitch. Wants to fuck him and everything. Um, So y'all check this out. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw those old tweets and what she had to say. Now, one of the tweets that got a lot of people bothered is that she was throwing shots at dark-skinned women. So in this tweet, she says, I love pretty dark-skinned girls, not too crispy, nah, but the Milky Ways be the shit. And she tweeted that in 2018. So a lot of folks really felt the way about that because JT herself is a dark-skinned woman. And people started posting old pictures of her in Young Miami. And I was shocked to see Young Miami's complexion because... I thought she was way lighter than that. So you can tell they both have done certain things to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Got the titties now and the ass and, you know, the typical, you know, the typical Build-A-Bear package that comes with being in the industry. I was very shocked at what Young Miami used to look like because she's another one who's been caught out for her colorist statements as well. So 
So once that tweet about dark skinned women came up, I wasn't shocked because JT to me comes off like the type of dark skinned girl that, you know, she's okay with a certain complexion of dark skin. People don't realize there's a hierarchy with dark skinned women as well, just like with biracial women and things like that that I talked about in the past. People like JT are the type that get happy and get boosted when somebody darker than them comes around. So you have a regular dark skin, brown skin girl like JT, let someone who's dark like a ducky thought or an alec whack, you know, come to the scene, they feel like they're better than them because they're not as dark as them. Dark skin chicks don't like to talk about it, but you know, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna keep it real over here. I've seen it happen time and time again. And I think it's really sad because I also noticed a while back when people were comparing her to other dark-skinned girls, she took big offense to it. Somebody had posted that OG from Basketball Wives could be JT's twin because they do kind of look alike. And she took big offense to that. This is what she said. And this was just in October. So this wasn't, you know, five, six years ago. She says, don't say I look like nobody. I'd be so mad. Y'all need to learn how to separate dark-skinned girls' features. Anybody with big lips don't look alike. So again... That, that featureism, that colorism is in there. You know, just like with Asian Doll. She wants to cry and call out light-skinned women, but she herself, there were old tweets that surfaced of her disrespecting women who were darker than her. So that's the same vibe I get from JT. So this whole situation is crazy. And of course, when people started calling her out, she was going off on them. So at first, she tried to laugh it off and put laughing emojis in her Insta stories and then, the, you know, the middle finger. And then she came back and said, nah, all jokes aside, stop searching them tweets because I don't feel like slapping a bitch back into the same year I was talking about them in. Then she posted up an old picture of herself and she said, all my old tweets are in that purse. And then somebody told her, just make a new account. This is the seventh time your tweets have been dug up. And so she was going off and calling somebody who called her a colorist. She was calling them a coloring book. So shortly after that, she ended up deleting her old Twitter. And then she created a new Twitter. And it's basically called Fuck Y'all Bitches at Fuck Y'all Bitches 11 at Fuck Y'all Bitch 11. And then she said, follow me. So that's basically her new Twitter. But my thing is that she was pressing unbothered and could stand in her shit, there's no reason for her to create a whole new Twitter. So I don't feel bad for her. A lot of the things that she said have been very problematic. She's talked about people's hair texture, skin tones. Um, she's talked about other people in the industry. She even says, I hate niggas. I should be a fucking Nazi. She has a lot of deep-seated issues. Even the dude that she's running with now, her little friend Santana, she was tweeting about him really bad back then too. And she said, just seeing Santana's big old ass get ran a train on. Yapping all the way from the basement, playing with all the DL trades in Florida. Booty hole, a petri dish of cum, chlamydia, and Cheetos. That is disgusting. So, of course, Santana tried to excuse it, and he says, Before we became famous, we used to sit at home looking fucked up. Priorities ain't together, talking big shit on Twitter about everybody. The same shit y'all regular bitches do now. Why y'all so surprised? And then he says, I'm going to start calling y'all's jobs and getting y'all canceled. So that was him basically taking up for his homegirl. And I get what he's trying to say because everybody talks shit on Twitter. Um, but it just goes. But the difference is a lot of the stuff that they say is very hateful. It's one thing to have an opinion. But a lot of the things that JT and it's not just JT and other people have tweeted out have been really hateful things. So it's not just talking shit. It's just not having an opinion. That lets me know that's really how you feel about yourself and that's really how you feel about other people. But now that you've gotten that bag, you don't want to ruin it. You don't want to risk getting canceled because then you'll be forced back to being a regular person who won't be able to afford those shoes that she was trying to climb that other girl for not having. And that's the problem that I have. It's one thing, yes, if you're a teenager, but a lot of these people are tweeting all this stuff in their 20s. So they were grown. Let's not act like they was 12 and 13 years old. A lot of folks were throwing all this salt grown. But see, that's what people do when they secretly envy, when they secretly want to have a lifestyle that they see other people having, other celebrities, other, you know, influencers. They want that too. That's why they spend all that time throwing salt and hate. And then once they get into that position that they want it so bad, now the same critique that they were giving other people, they can't take. Anybody says anything to JT that's, you know, even slightly shady, she's going off. She's clapping back. Oh, but weren't you the queen of, you know, throwing shade and putting out that energy? So now that you're receiving that same energy, now it's an issue. That's my issue with a lot of these folks. They love to dish it. 
But once they get into that position that they beg to be in, then they can't handle the critique. They can't handle the criticism. How about putting out less negative energy so that way you won't get that back? So, yeah, this whole situation was a mess. They are currently roasting her all over Twitter. Um, so now let's go ahead and talk about Queen Naja. She's also being blasted because people went back into her and Clarence's old tweets. They found their old Instagram page. Queen Naja was literally out here tweeting like an old Christian camp counselor, honey. She was saying in one tweet, she goes, y'all curse too much on my timeline. Where's the Holy Ghost filled people at? Then she says, two destinations, heaven and hell, you decide. Then she says, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. So she was very religious back then. She even posted a picture of her and her first baby daddy. Um, she says, better than Jay-Z and Beyonce, cause we got Jesus. These are old pictures of her back in the day. Um, I guess when she was younger, before all of the, you know, procedures, that's what she used to look like. I don't understand this old picture that they found. They say that's her mama. I don't understand why her mother is carrying her, but her mom got a strong back because I can't carry neither one of my boys. Get y'all big asses down. Okay. <laughs> so now on top of that, um, one of the tweets that's really pissed a lot of people off is this one. She says, I have nothing against homosexuals, but how are you going to take God's promise, the rainbow, and make it a symbol for your lifestyle? So that is the tweet that's getting her in hot water right now. So now her baby's father, the second one, Clarence, they found some old tweets of his. And he was saying, please tell all black girls that think it's okay to dye their hair blonde yeah, you look like a black and mild. Then he goes on to say, never trust a black girl if her Facebook name is pretty black skin. Shake my head. So people are calling him out for being a colorist. So again, like I said, she sounds more like a Christian camp counselor. It's very interesting how the industry changes people. You know, there's nothing wrong with her being a Christian and believing in God and believing in Jesus. That is her right. But it's very funny how much has changed since 2014. You know, she has two kids by two different guys. And people say the way she got with Clarence was kind of shady. It was very close to when she was still in a situation shit with Chris. I don't know because I don't watch a couple videos. I just, you know, see what people write in the comments. Um, so people side-eyed their union. And then, she got so, and then she got pregnant so quickly by the new guy. So, I mean, it's very easy to judge somebody. It's very easy to judge their lifestyle. But at the end of the day, nobody's perfect, including Queen Naja. You know, and I'm sure she'll say that now. But, you know, this was years ago, so hopefully she's grown from then. But it's just very interesting looking back at her old tweets and how much she praised God and, you know, seemed more secure with herself. And now you see them and it's all about money and the lifestyle and plastic surgery. That fame is a hell of a drug, honey. And once people get it, it's only one of two ways. Either you remain humble and still be that girl that you was and you don't sell out or it's going to change you so bad that you don't even recognize the person that you're seeing in the mirror so you just look right in here uh -huh. look in there and you see that you're doing too much so yeah that situation is interesting so she's trending for that mess so now last but not least honey little baby's also trending along with miss london and jada Wada. okay so what's going down is this miss london is a porn star I don't know if her ass was drunk or what the hell was damn wrong with her, but she decided to put all her damn business out there concerning little baby. As we all know, little baby is with Jada. And so Miss London took to social media and she posted this. She says, I'm legit about to talk shit all night. Okay, I'm home, 6K richer and full of 1942. Not dropping no names, but Jada not leaving this man ever. Then she says, as the best dick I ever had came from a millionaire who didn't say more than two full sentences to me. He literally beat me into the mattress soon as I got into the room. And then somebody says, girl, was little baby's dick good or not? She says, it's good. I'm never going to get it again. My publicist has confirmed that I fucked up even before I got in the house. I made a mistake. I'm logging off. I'm extremely wasted. Then she says, new videos, and this one is popular. He know damn well he shouldn't have let me record us. So she tried to go and delete those tweets. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. Don't play with you, piggy. 
but you know, once you post something on social media, honey, it's there forever. So right now, social media is going crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the comments, the tweets, and what folks are saying on social media concerning all this drama with little baby Jada in London. Y'all go ahead and check this out, honey, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I could pay for that. I could pay for that. I could pay for that. Look, it wasn't me. Okay, it wasn't me. Look, it wasn't me. I would know well. All of them lying on me. Stop right there. Stop. No, 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 all right, so y'all just saw the comments, the tweets. You know what I mean? The whole situation is a hot damn mess. Some people are saying, oh, well, because Miss London rides the dick like little baby rides the beat, bitch, okay? So some folks see nothing wrong with it. Um, other people are saying, well, hey, that's her job. You know what I'm saying? Her job is to be a porn star slash prostitute, so she's getting her bag. Other people feel sorry for Jada. You know, this whole situation is a hot damn mess, okay? But I'll say this. At the end of the day, I think, you know, Miss London kind of messed up. I don't know if she signed an NDA or not, but this is not going to be a good look. If she wants to get into the prostitution game, because that's what this is. You know, let's stop trying to use cute names for this shit. She's prostituting herself. It is what the fuck it is. Okay, so she wants to get into the prostitution game and starts, you know, prostituting her services to celebrities Spilling the tea on Twitter, uh, yeah, you just fucked up your bag. Because the reason why men hire prostitutes and call girls, you know, if you want to use the cutesy wootsy name, is because there's a level of secrecy, okay? If a man wants to cheat or just be with an average girl that's not a prostitute, they have to worry about, is this girl going to go spill tea? Is she going to sneak and take a picture of me and post it on social media? Is she going to pull a Selena Powell? You see how she did Uncle Snoop? Auntie Shantae ain't been right since. She won't stop posting quotes and everything else. I'm assuming he's fucking somebody else again because she's been posting quotes the last two weeks, okay? But that is one of the worries that celebrity men, you know, deal with when they're cheating and, you know, stepping outside of their relationship. So that is why they are willing to pay 16 stacks for a prostitute because the prostitute is supposed to know to keep her mouth shut, okay? The call girl, whatever the hell you want to call them, they're supposed to just shut it up. Just come over here, suck my peen, give me some puss, and go on about your business. There's no connection. That's it. That's all. But where Miss London messed up is that she's looking for clout, okay? She's another person, social climbing. She's looking for clout. Little Baby's one of the hottest rappers out here. Nobody would have known about this had she not said anything. So I believe she fumbled her bag. Granted, she still does porn on OnlyFans, but she definitely fumbled that celebrity bag because, you know what I'm saying, she's running her mouth, and that's a big no-no in the industry when it comes to the sex game. So anyways, honey, this tea has been really good this morning. It's been super spicy, lots of flavor. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you guys are not subscribed, I don't know why you would not be because I'd be having the hottest tea on these streets, okay? Um, also, make sure to share the video if you guys enjoyed this. Share this with your friends and family. 
Ah, last but not least. Okay, there's always a catch. Make sure you hit that notification bell, boo, so that way you can be down with the notification squad so that when I drop my videos or go live, you get notified and you are here. My live streams are always popping. I'll probably go live later on today. So make sure you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell so that way you get alerted when I go live. So anyways, y'all, thank you guys for joining me this morning. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>